So I'm uh, Torkum Pailavanyan. I'm the project manager for the Robotic Arm Project. Torkum is uh, an organized fellow. He takes the bull by the horns and starts to rally the troops. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this works. It'll be like a C++ program when we write it. It really depends on what you've done. Like, it's like for them, they, he might have done something different than him. What was this before? Uh, servo. This stuff, can you give me a red one of these? I got a team of people together. We basically started working over the winter. We wrote a five-week schedule on what we wish to accomplish, and if we were to follow that schedule exactly, we would finish this project. So the project is build an arm. It has to pick up a coffee mug and has to pick up an egg without breaking it. There are toys that you can buy on the internet for 50 bucks, which are little robotic arms that can pick things up. Uh, so that kind of tricks us into thinking that, that this is a slam dunk. I think the biggest challenge that they're going to have is their, uh, their ambition. They want to do a lot. We don't really have fingers. We have a claw. It's quite a complex undertaking. There's software components, electrical components, mathematical theory, kinematics, there's mechanical hardware, how the motion is encoded and carried out. We haven't learned this stuff. In school, they don't teach you how to build a robotic arm. I don't think anybody here has built a robot before. It's, it's my first project I'm working on. We're just learning all of the, the math behind it, as well as how to take that math and implement it. Five weeks is not a lot of time. So if we take our time, it's, it's not going to get done. The goal of the first week is to design the exterior. So we wanted to design the exterior of the robot, which we're almost completed. This is a 3D printer. All of these are 3D printers. So they're actually going to print a 3D model of what the arm is going to look like. You just soak the components in, the parts in, and then... After you know, a long period of time, they'll clean it all right off. Wash off the support material for another 12 hours. This piece still has the support material. Yeah. Quite. This would be the prototype for their project. Yeah. Let's put a little switch or something here that when it closes it makes contact. Oh, okay, so you want this guy. Uh, the most difficult task for this team or for these teams is basically how to in how they build the interaction interface. The Arduino, all the pins are bare. They don't have anything inside. So we have to put these things called headers. And what the headers do is it plugs into this piece connects to a computer through a USB. So everything is challenging. There's so many little problems that come up. A Raspberry Pi was turning off once we hooked up a motor to it. We're really lucky at JCC. We have a, a beautiful manufacturing technology lab. It has state-of-the-art CNC machining equipment. It took a while. The program wasn't working. There was loose wires, Yeah, all the small. Installing the software doesn't take that much time to do. But if you keep coming up with errors, then you have to figure out why you're getting those errors. For example, this wasn't sitting in correctly yesterday, so 90% of the time we were pushing it, it wouldn't work. Uh, trial trial error. error. Yeah. <laughs> well, with the design review, I, I hope the mentors have really good feedback. I really want to see what they've come up with as far as their design. I'm not nervous about it, because you know I designed the arm, so I know exactly what I'm going to say. We went and actually weighed our, our parts just to see how they would compare to our simulation. We think we have some stuff that I think will impress them. So getting into the electronics, uh, we're going to discuss the schematics, so how everything is hooked up, our power source, DC motors, and how they're driven. To basically create a common ground with the software portions. If this was like a high precision a robotic arm, might be cutting a vein that it's not supposed to be cutting. Resistance decreases as when you put more force in. I'm going to have to worry about much stress being put on this. We'll figure it out, but it's it's taking a little bit of time. The robotic arm was kind of the platform for developing these skills, but it was actually a project that we wanted to accomplish. It just happened that you know it was much more complicated than we had initially imagined it to be. Guys, the difference between a design review and a presentation is that you, you go slow. You need to let the brainstorming kick in. I have a question for the math team, I guess. Did you guys put in specs for Ultim for the final element analysis? You know, in the engineering world, not every, it's not 100% success and that's part of the process, that's part of the experience. This is the process of planning. It's a very, it's a very complicated process to master. I might personally, I have not mastered it. All these things, you kind of have to think about how the scheduling is going to mesh together, you know, so that people aren't waiting for each other. Where does the microcontroller go? Where does the Arduino go? You guys were missing the functional block diagram. On the software team, how does the software exit gracefully? These things have technical names. Where's the note taking? Nobody's taking notes. We're in study, but we're not 100% on it. Though. I'm hoping that this project can lead its way and uh, serve as a blueprint for future uh, student-driven projects. Once you learn how to do these things, you can go work in a professional environment with other engineers and you would know what you're doing.